there today i want to show you how i painted our gate i match the paint with our uh, the color of our house so uh, since i have an extra paint i just use that to paint the old gate so anyhow if this is your first time watching aurora's vlog don't forget to hit like and subscribe and if you want to know how i did it let's rewind this video hey guys today i will be painting this gate our gate at the back uh, i have been wanting to do this but now that i have time i already uh, removed the other wood down here and if you can see i want to show you i'm going to be using the uh, 715 and then this is what the the thing looks like just gonna magnet that in there so i'm gonna go ahead and this screw and then i'm gonna do the time lapse okay Okay, now that we have done removing all the the wood, I'm going to go ahead and paint that. So I'm just going to paint them all together the same color and I'm using this Glide-In Primer, Exterior Paint and Primer. So uh, this is going to be this, the same color as my fences, so nothing special about it. And let's go ahead and get this time lapse going. Okay, it is looking nice now. Now, I'm going to finish this. So, I'm going to go ahead and paint this. I'm going to go paint that the back of our house. I'm going to paint the front facing first. I'm going to paint it real good. This paint is kind of like very thick and they do dry so fast. Which is I like because I like to be able to put it back right away. So, here. I try not to dip my brush too deep to the paint so I don't drip anywhere on the bottom. Just like the way I paint my, you know, <clears throat> portrait and landscape painting, I just like to dip the brush ever so lightly to the paint so that nothing, no paint will drip on my work area and also no paint will drip here. I like to work clean, you know. So that way, when I'm when when I'm done, there's not much to clean because I already, you know, clean up to begin with while I was working. We're almost done with this tiny one. I'm gonna let this dry, and then I'm gonna paint the back. This is my seventh day after I quit my job. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna start my new job. And the nice thing about my new job is I'm just gonna be working from home. So I've got all of my computers ready tomorrow. Gotta get up at Pacific time. We're using um, Pacific time, which is California time. And then since we are in Arizona, it's gonna be one hour behind from California and then next week we're gonna change that um, daylight saving is I believe that's March 14 so then I'll be getting up uh, synced up with California which is nice because 830 is actually perfect for me it's not too early to get up in the morning it needs so much paint There we go. Now let's paint the corner. Okay, that's it for the, the wood. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of them. And then once they do dry up, we're gonna continue the, the putting it back together. So, so, the gate is already been painted, it's done. The wood is done. 
So let's go ahead and put this back. Finally, we are done. I just kind of like match the paint with our house. So anyhow, it took only three hours and I'm happy with the results. It's not that fancy, but it's clean looking. Now all I have to do is just tighten up all the screws. Anyways, if this is your first time watching Aurora's vlog, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I will see you on my next DIY video. Bye!